guys welcome to my channel and it's a haul and it's from Zara you guys know the drill this Zara haul is essentially about pieces that keep on getting restocked and ends up in the sale and I get to buy them and so I'm sharing them with you because at some point in the future you're likely to see them again because most of them were bestsellers. They sold out pretty quickly and of course some of them, some of these items are on sale. As I'm filming they are still on sale, some of them. Of course you may not find most of them because I got most of them in stores. But the general idea behind this haul, despite the fact that you may not get most of them right now, the key message is, one, I'm walking you through the fabrication so that you know what to avoid, despite the fact they look so great and they were bestsellers. That doesn't necessarily mean that they were of the greatest fabrication, as you would see from this haul. Secondly, they get restocked. If it's not this season, it's probably next season or the next season. For example, the, this piece was definitely one that was three seasons ago, but I wanted it and I never got it. But I got it now and the rest that I'm going to show you, I will tell you what the fabrication is and I would let you know if it's a buy or not. If it's polyester, no matter how pretty it is, no matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I'm just giving you the information. It's up to you whether or not you want to buy it. So I've done my part. If you're environmentally conscious, definitely fabrication is one way that you can contribute to the environment. For me personally, I reuse items. I buy items that I know that would last me, that I like, and I would keep on reusing until their lifespan, until I could use them no more. And I do thrifting and I look for good fabrics. That's my contribution to the environment, especially in a world where I do love fashion and I do like to look well. So for me, if I do like these things, this is one way that I can bring attention and awareness to the companies who are out there making these items for us. It's not just about being pretty. It's not just about style. It's not just about mass production. We have to be aware of the types of material that we, we wear that give us, that allows our skin to breathe and at the same time contribute to a good environment. So that's my message to you and it's one of the things I want to educate you about. And yes, I'm not telling you to go and throw out all your polyester stuff. You, you, you bought them because, yeah, you didn't know. And ignorance is definitely not a great thing when it comes to the environment. So that's why I'm trying to educate you now on just a tiny way that if you love fashion, if you like to be in the latest trends, look for environmentally friendly materials like linen, cotton, even viscose, which is a man-made material, I think, is biodegradable. So rayon is as well. So I'm just putting it out there so that you become aware of these things. Let's shop wisely and demand from companies good fabrics for our money. It's our money we deserve to get quality for it. Even the big multi-million dollar companies, the big high-end companies are guilty of this. 
and I am so not impressed with them for this. Yes, they do produce good quality stuff, but they do sneak in the polyester. They do. So we have to be on the lookout for these things. So just letting you know, and this is what encapsulates this whole haul. That's the message I am trying to convey to you. So I hope you learn something and find some inspiration and be educated about these things. Sorry to interrupt guys, but just a quick note. Just in case you like me and want to stay apprised of all of my videos, do click the red subscribe button and click the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload a video. So here they are guys, if you click on these buttons, you'll be part of my channel and you'll be notified when I post new videos. I have been uploading Saturdays. Sometimes if I'm too tired, I upload on a Sunday. But if you love me, come on back and subscribe. I'll definitely love to have you. Now, let's get back to the video. By the way, anybody ever did shellac? I did it and it damaged my nails and my nails are not very, very hard. So it really damaged it. I'm a little bit annoyed. But anyway, it looks good, but oh. Anyway, I digress. Let's get into the haul. I have my glasses so I can see the fine prints of what the fabric is made of. So I hauled a couple tops as well as let's just get into it <laughs> so this is one of the first items i hauled and you guys know me i love off shoulder i love the collotage i love to look like my neck is as long as a uh, giraffe's so yeah i love off shoulder. I love shoulder actions. I love clavicle action. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not into myself. This is just humor. <laughs> anyway, so I got this. This I've been looking at and because it was priced at, I think, what was the original price? Oh my God, are you kidding me? The original price was $45. Guys, to be honest, and this is a channel for frankness and honesty because I am very direct. I am very frank when it comes to almost every aspect of my life. Sometimes it rubs people the wrong way, but this is how I am and I am going to give it to you just the way I would relate to you as one of my best BFFs. So, this item was priced at $45. Looking at it, I don't see why. This is a price point. Yes, I know that there are workers that are painstakingly working long hours to get these out to us but Zara is a multi-billion company so they can afford to bring us cheap items and still pay the workers for a million of their lifetimes so this is no excuse for such price gouging or really exorbitant prices for the same quality items. I, I don't see the reason for this being priced at $45. Uh, let's check the fabrication. Yes, guys, fabrication is on point. For the back, the back is what we call smoking back home. I am from a third world country and 
I have seen many women in my villages, my friends do these type of style. I appreciate the work that goes into this and I would tell anybody to definitely pay the workers value for their work. At the same time, it's not much fabric, <laughs> there's not much cotton here that contributes to the making of this item and the pattern is not something that is really out of this world. Yes, it's checked and it's on trend, but I do not think it's worth $45. So I say all of that to say that yes, fabrication is good. Yes, it's in a style that's trending. It's in a style that I love. But if you're not into this style and if you're not into this pattern, it's definitely not worth to buy. And that is why I waited until the sales to get this item because it was exorbitantly priced and not worth it. But fabrication is great. This piece definitely looks good, but one thing to also be aware of is that it doesn't fit that great on the bust area, but it looks great. Huh, that was a lot for this top, but I had to tell you because you might still see this piece online on the Zara website. Sticking to tops, I also got two actually three other tops this one is very similar to the white one i hauled a couple of hauls ago and original price again 45 i got it for 12.99 think it's worth 12 to 15 dollars so it's definitely good that i waited on the sale for this one i love it it's the plumitous design i have several of these in my wardrobe and I love them. I wear them pretty often. They're pretty popular and almost every store has this design and this style. So you would find it at H&M, you would find it at even places like Mango and those other stores that many people are hauling from these days. So. It's a great piece, it's a great work piece as well as you can pair it with jeans. This top looks great with almost anything I pair it with. But the first day I wore it, it got a rip. So let's see what the fabrication is. So it's 100% polyester and it's definitely not environmentally friendly. So therefore, this is something that you could definitely pass on and that's the thing about most pretty items all that glitter is not necessarily gold and i am now in the habit of trying not to haul items that are a hundred percent polyester to be honest because the environment guys the environment the environment it's really, really demanding our attention. And we have to force these companies to be more environmentally conscious when it comes to the types of fabrication that they are choosing to make clothing items that we as consumers have to consume. So I would say definitely a no for this one but because I've already hauled it and there's no going back then the lesson learned here is to pay attention to the fabrication of your item despite the fact that it's on sale it doesn't necessarily mean that it's something you absolutely have to get if you are environmentally conscious the next piece is this gorgeous blouse and of course you have me at balloon it has gorgeous details I love the pearl details on the sleeves as well as on the neck and I love 
the fabric. It's very soft, but <laughs> I am guessing that this is definitely polyester as well. I also love the design and the pattern on it. It's essentially uh, your your sign, your horoscope. Or it's all those signs that are associated with your birthday. But what I love about it, it's the style and the details that went into making it. So the fit is not as great as I expected it to be. I still love the details on it and I guess I didn't pair it well here, but it pairs beautifully otherwise. Great office piece that I can pair with many of my office outfits, be it my high-waisted pants or skirts. Let's see the fabrication. And of course I paid, it was 29 initially, but I think I paid 12. $12.99 for it. It's polyester. Yeah, just as I thought. So, had I paid closer attention to this, I don't care about the style, honestly, because I have a multitude of these balloon sleeve items in my wardrobe. Had I paid more attention to this, I would not have bought it. So, definitely not a good buy for me. The next item is this gorgeous jacket. Guys, this jacket was on sale for $129. This is absolutely insane. I don't think that this is a jacket that is worth $129. $49.99, even probably, probably $59.99. I would pay for it, but definitely not $129. But I must add, it's very heavy. It, I was quite surprised at how heavy this material is and the quality of this item because I really didn't expect it to be and I'll tell you why in a few minutes because I hauled a jumpsuit in this open stitch style and guys almost everywhere I have seen like several hauls online and they depict this style and this type of item from many places like um, Primark and so I wasn't very impressed with the price despite the fact that I love the shape of it it's really really great I am absolutely in love with this jacket it defines your waist it looks great well tailored beautifully made and to accentuate my waist further I belted it ah oh! it's heavy and it's a great fall piece but $129 for a blazer? Seriously? No. But anyway, let's look at the fabrication. Outer shell is made of 58% viscose, 37% cotton, 5% elastane. The main lining is made from 100% viscose and the sleeve lining is made from 100% polyester. Wow, <laughs> it's definitely not polyester. It actually feels like a combination of linen and cotton. So it's a really sturdy piece. If you guys see it, definitely buy it. But I must admit that I got most of my items in store and this was just pure luck. I just happened to be in Zara returning some stuff and I knew I wanted this, but by the time I decided to get it, when it was on sale for $34, it was no longer available in my size. So I had completely given up on it until I saw this man walk in and return it. I guess he was returning it for his wife, of course. So when I asked for it, after he had returned it, it was dropped to 
$19.99. So, oh my God, this is such a great buy and such, I, I was so lucky to get it because it would be in my wardrobe for quite some time. So, yeah, really happy I got this. So, since I just showed you that piece, I think it made sense for me to just show you this item and as you can see this is a jumpsuit it's definitely right up my alley I love the wide waistband that cinches your waist this jumpsuit guys I have a love-hate relationship with it and you will learn why just now I love these button details really gorgeous it fits beautifully I love the wide leg you know that's me and I love the open stitches it has pockets it's very long and I just love that it it's a very statement piece you can't miss me or anybody that wears this piece it's just beautifully made I love the fit such a great work piece that I was so excited to buy but because of the fact that the fabrication is a bit on the lighter side I didn't really want to invest in it but during the latter part of Zara's sale it kept on being reduced and I eventually got it for $20, $29 I think the original price was way above that I think it was probably 79 so I would say um, for style and comfort and looks the way it fits oh my god love it so definitely a great buy for that in terms of fabrication let's see a hundred percent polyester definitely not a buy despite the fact that it's so pretty and it fits so well it's still $29.99 it's not worth your $29.99 if you're environmentally friendly I'm quite disappointed but I kind of expected it to be that way unfortunately ah oh, 